Hello, this is Graham Lewis from Let's Learn This dot com. Uh, today we're going to look at um, solo mining uh, Prime Coin. So, to do that, first we're going to go to primecoin dot org, um, and then you'll see these set of icons. We're going to go for the truck with the numbers um, for the high performance mining client, and then we come to a page with the downloads on Source Force, Source Forge. Um, and here we, it's identified that we're using Windows in this case but if you go into each different version you've got downloads for um, Linux in there as well okay so we're going to download this version which is the latest one okay now prime coin is good for mining on your CPU so you can use redundant PCs to uh, to add to your network of miners um, if you want to solo mine or you can pull mine uh, you know pulling your resources with other people um, in this case we're just going to set it up for solo mining so we need to extract the files first um, you can put it wherever you like but I'm just gonna stick it here for now and then once extract extracted we're going to go in and run primecoin dash qt okay so it's saying windows firewall is blocking some features um, as long as you're happy and allow access there okay and now the um, and now the clients started. Now the first thing it's going to need to do is download um, the blocks, so the blockchain, so it's going to uh, take quite a while to, to download this. You can see here it's 22 weeks behind the start of the chain so it's going to start downloading that now which it's doing here and that's going to take quite a while um, when it's finished the out of sync disappears here okay so I'm going to pause the video in a moment and let that do its thing and then I'm going to come back um, just one other thing to note here the icon uh, we've got one active connection to the prime coin network um, that goes up and down depending on on what you can get if you're not getting any then uh, you've got a problem with it synchronizing okay so I'm going to pause now and I'm going to see you in a little while okay so now we can see that it's uh, finished synchronizing we've got a tick here now to say that it's all done um, and the outsync has disappeared uh, both these locations right so on to how to solo mine that's just a case of simply going into um, the help menu and in the debug window clicking on the console and then you type set generate true minus one so set generate space true space minus one now the minus one tells it how many cores to use of the processor um, the minus one just says use all the cores basically but you can set your own um, amount there depending on the amount of cores in your processor and what you want to use um, I tend to silo mine when I'm not doing anything else on the PC so I just use everything okay and then after a while it will go off you won't get any feedback so to see if it's actually working type in get mining info or one word get mining info um, and then it tells you what it's doing now what we're interested in is the primes per second here at the moment it's not actually doing any work so it tends to take a little while just to catch up so um, okay so we try it again now Here we can see now primes per sec has gone up 729. Now that probably go up a little bit higher on this processor, but it really depends on the speed of your processor as to what that number goes to. Um, and really, if it's quite low, then you want to look at pool mining, which we'll look at in another video. Okay, so that's how you do it. You leave it going, and then hopefully, after a while, you'll see um, a transaction come in and your balance will go up. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.